Mother Nature's dumped a doozy on us this time. Dozens of flights in and out of Nashville International are delayed or canceled right now as this bizarre storm cripples travel in the air and on the ground for millions. The massive storm strengthened overnight into what meteorologists call a bomb cyclone. Kenneth Craig is in the middle of the powerful winds and coastal flooding to show us what it's like. Plows tried to stay ahead of the snow along the Jersey Shore Thursday morning, but not fast enough for some drivers. I'm stuck. I can't get to work. The winter storm that's being called a bomb cyclone with snow, ice, and strong winds spans nearly the entire length of the eastern seaboard. Hold up. All right. Overnight in Norfolk, Virginia, the whiteout conditions trapped a police car on Interstate 264. Others got on the ground to dig their cars out. Boston and other parts of New England should get the brunt of it. Forecasters expect a foot to a foot and a half of snow with winds up to 75 miles per hour. It's not just the wind that forecasters are worried about, but how quickly the snow could be coming down, upwards of three inches per hour. We always get a couple of blizzards a year, so we're kind of expecting it. This is nothing. If a New England person is crying about this, they need to go back to Arkansas, or Mississippi. Southerners had a different reaction to the storm Wednesday. This is crazy. Drivers in Savannah, Georgia had to clear off their cars. I don't really even know how to drive on the road like this in this type of weather. And Tallahassee, Florida saw snow Wednesday for the first time in 28 years. But even when the snow stops falling, there's no relief. Single digit temperatures return to the northeast. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Boston. Closer to home, firefighters in Wilson County battled a big blaze for hours in the bitter cold this morning. Flames shot several feet into the air. Neighbors could see a huge cloud of smoke billowing up in Watertown on Poplar Hill Road. The homeowner said he placed a heat lamp near a chicken coop, and that might be the cause of the fire. Flames spread from the coop to a nearby business, catching a propane tank on fire. Fortunately, though, no one was hurt. Metro police have charged a 16-year-old girl with the murder of an innocent man in South Nashville. Maisha Brown is not cooperating with detectives after being arrested last night for criminal homicide. Police believe she shot and killed 74-year-old Rusine Wong back in November. Wong was shot at his home on Claiborne Street on his way taking the trash out. Maisha is the 12th juvenile to be charged with criminal homicide last year in Nashville.